What's up, Pisces? This is your weekly reading. Um, I say weekly very um, loosely, but this is your fucking reading, okay? So that's it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tori. I do these readings. I try to do them weekly, but my life's been pretty hectic lately. And um, not hectic in a bad way, but like, you know, busy. Just And I've been distracted. Let's be fucking real. So there's that. Uh, if you're interested in anything I have to offer, if you want a reading, linked in the description below is my email address. You can email the email address below and inquire about a reading. It's inquiries at toryfranco.com. Um, if you want to support the channel, become a patron. By all means, my OnlyFans is down below. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to execute that. But it's in the works. And yeah, anything anything you want to know about me is in the description below. Let's see what we got for the Pisces people today. My hair looks like this because I'm about to go get a haircut. And I didn't put any product in it. So please don't judge me. Seven of Swords is the first card out. Knight of Pentacles and the Star. Not y'all slowly healing from somebody who fucked you over. Is that it, Pisces? Finding hope in the situation, finding the light at the end of the tunnel, slowly but surely making the moves for yourself. This is consistency. Or well, this could be somebody who pretended to be consistent, really not being consistent, really being an asshole, hiding a lot of things. Take it as it resonates, because, you know, we out here. I don't know, though. I'm feeling healing. This is a release of the negativity, the, the, the shit that drains us. Recovering. We're either recovering from a financial loss, somebody who took money from us, quite literally, or just recovering from... Something that drained our energy. Let's see. That's what I look like right now. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm seeing a release. Either you're releasing this person who had you in some sort of mental prison. They could have, they could have been very manipulative. Um, they could have actually been a very controlling person or a controlling entity. I don't want to say like it was a relationship or whatever, like could be a job that you had, but you're letting go of those debilitatingly, yeah, page of cups. You're letting go of the debilitating anxiety around this situation or around this person who was not the nicest to you. Page of Cups is like a, um, it's like slowly but surely, I just feel like it's, it, it could either be I'm ready for love, open to love, like you're finally opening up to the to, to new possibilities in love. Yeah, this, the emperor in reverse. You're healing from somebody, like I said, somebody who was, who could have been controlling, abuse, abuse their power. If it's not somebody you were with, it's, it could be somebody from your past. Like it could be a trauma from your past that you're finally finding the light in the situation, the strength. We love this card. <laughs> we want to see this card. This is about, You've been consistent with yourself and put the work in for what, whatever it is you've wanted to accomplish, whether this is physically wanting to accomplish something or just moving, pushing forward. It's, 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 you've been consistent. You've, put, you've showed up for yourself or for others in a, in a way that is now allowing you to see the results of that. And so now you have hope in this situation, whatever this situation is. And it's kind of like, 
opening you up emotionally. King of Wands. This could be a business that you got in, involved in. Um, this could also be another person that you're dealing with, possibly. Um, a boss. This could just be you bossing the fuck up. After putting in this work. Like you're finally the CEO of your own company. You're finally seeing the results of all the work. The hard work. Seven of Cups in reverse. This is finding clarity in a situation. Seeing things for what they are. Not what they could be. Not what you want them to be. Not who you want them to be if it's a person. You are seeing things exactly for how they are. And it's a good thing, I think. It's putting things into perspective for you, I feel, Pisces. We love that. We love that energy. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is some... I'm feeling like narcissist vibes here. If this is somebody you were dealing with, this was somebody who was very jealous of you and your accomplishments, maybe jealous of the fact that you had eyes on you. Because um, this is... The star is not just about hope and healing. It's about having being recognized whether that's literally as a star like whether you have a social media following or uh just simply being recognized by others this person was jealous of that didn't want that didn't want what was best for you abused their power over you in some way maybe they took care of you financially and they held that over your head you're finally like not it's like you're you're finally like releasing yourself from that from that sort of that prison. Here's the strength again. Like having the strength to move forward from it. You're you're realizing Pisces. This is a real like redemption story I'm feeling Pisces. You're realizing the strength that you have within yourself that you've had all along in this entire situation. This is definitely somebody who held you back for sure look at this fluffy hair queen of cups in reverse damn you got the the knight of cups in reverse and now the queen of cups in reverse this is about self-love this is about you giving all of that love that you have to give pisces and giving it to yourself and I feel like having some sort of transformation within. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, Knight of Swords in reverse. This can be a little bit impulsive at times. Scattered. I don't know what that means though i'm not gonna blow smoke ten of pentacles though here we are we love this you are your own foundation right you've built something from the ground like you've taken the time to like again with this knight of pentacles you've taken the time to be consistent and show up for yourself every day so that now you are like i said now you are seeing either the recognition that you need to be see that that you've always wanted to see whether it's from a boss or your family's proud of you whatever it is you're seeing that recognition and you're seeing it also in the physical as well manifesting in monetarily you're reaping the benefits of all the work that you've put in I'm really feeling like you took a risk on something and it like paid off. I don't know why. Watch the fool come out. King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, boss the fuck up. <laughs> you're grounded. You're um, yeah, taking care of yourself. Ten of Swords in reverse. No longer dealing with this fuck shit. Again, I feel like here's the thing. Like I said, it's a redemption story. The story I'm getting, right, is of one uh, uh, for a Pisces who dealt with somebody who was probably, like, narcissistic, took you for what you were worth, right? Whether you took care of this person, this person made you feel guilty, 
that you needed to take care of them or they took care of you and made you feel guilty for the way that they took care of you. They, they held you back in some sort of way. You finally released yourself or are releasing yourself. You showed up for yourself every single day to heal, to put the work into your goals and your dreams instead of constantly living for them. And now you're, you released it. You released the, the trauma, the trick, like you put in the work. And now you're seeing the physical benefits of it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Nurtures herself. Again, a lot of self-love here, Pisces. A lot. What did I say taking a risk? The fool. You, took a, you embarked on a journey that you weren't sure about. You were like, can I do this on my own? I don't know. And it fucking paid off. This is a risk. We're taking a leap of faith and you took it. I knew, I felt this fucking card. I felt this card. Whether you took a risk in business, you took a risk in an event, in an, in, in an investment, whether you took a risk, I feel like it's either in business or just on yourself in general. You're, you're like, this person has nothing, but they don't care. They're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm choosing myself finally. And it's about to pay off and it's gonna pay off. And if I fail, I'll pick myself back up, dust myself off and continue even more. You know what I mean? That's the, the vibe, the Empress in reverse. Somebody made you feel less than, but then you came along and showed up for yourself and made you feel greater than. I don't think it came without community, right? Like you had help, whether within your family circle, your friends, people people showed up for you. And if this is a business thing, you went into business with the right people and collaborated with the right people. There is some sort of like thing that you got involved in that really fucking worked. You got you got with the right people who helped you and showed you the right way and put you on the right path, but it started with you. It started with you finally being like, this is not good enough for me anymore. Whether it's this light, it doesn't have to be a person. I feel like for a lot of Pisces out there, yes, it is a specific person who held you back, whether it was an abusive parent uh, mentally, physically, whatever it is, or an abusive spouse or somebody you were dealing with that didn't have your best interest at heart, right? Um, you broke away from that. And like, if it's a parent, you broke the generational curse. You broke the generational curse. And you know it. Because you built your own fucking empire. Like I said, five of pentacles in reverse. There it is again. Recovered from whatever losses. You, you, you fucking cut your losses and you were like, nope. This isn't going to be my life. I'm going to create my own. I'm really feeling like good shit from this. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to pull three more cards and then four of pentacles, conservation, saving, saving yourself. I don't know why I hear, I'm hearing that. Normally this is about like saving money, conserving your resources, kind of holding your shit close to your chest, like lock and key. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. The moon, you trusted your gut. You picked your path and you went with it and you, and you, and you fucking, you, uh, you're just seeing the benefits of it. You're seeing the changes being made in like in real time. Ace of swords, clarity. It's like, I finally see why things had to happen the way that they happened. Releasing the devil. Here we are. Releasing the negativity. 
like I finally see like you're looking back and you're just like it's like hindsight is twenty twenty for you. You're like, wow, okay. I see why that happened the way that it did. Whoa. What did I fucking say? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Like I said, the worst is over. Smoke is like clearing. The dust is clearing. Hold on. The answers you need are coming. That could be something to do with that, that Ace of Swords. Expect powerful change. Need I fucking say more? If you're if you're in a situation like what I've just described, I can tell you right now, change is coming. Some sort of clarity is coming for you. So stay tuned because you're about to enter into a new thing. And take a risk. Clean slate. So that's that's good. That's what I got for you, Pisces. I hope that resonates. Uh, I love you guys very much, and I'll see y'all in the next reading. Peace out.